Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something interesting with packing tape. It's called photo transfer with packing tape. Um, and all you're going to need is just whatever image. So these are just from a magazine. Okay. So we're going to just try these and see if they work out. Since this is a different type of paper, I'm going to try both of them and see what works best okay so you just come with your packing tape and you take it and you put it try to be as neat as possible that you don't get any air bubbles and you just place it on top of your image like that okay and you want to come with some something that has a nice edge to remove any bubbles that might be on there at this point, you want to make sure it's on there nice and tight because you don't want any water to seep through. So you make sure that those edges are nice and tight. Now, we're going to be using the whole image. Maybe if for whatever you need it for, maybe I wouldn't need um, the whole image. But I'm going to go ahead and do the whole image. And I'll just cut out whatever I don't want. Okay, just so that you guys can have a nice picture of what's going on here. Now, with the second piece of tape, you don't want to butt up against the first piece of tape. You want to make sure you're overlapping okay just like that now as you can see I got a little wrinkle right here I don't know if you can a little wrinkle okay but I don't know that's gonna ruin but we're gonna go over with this and actually the wrinkle went away well okay this really worked well okay took out all those wrinkles Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just dump this in a, you can do the back side too if you want. Okay, just like that and make sure. Okay, and you're gonna just take a warm bowl of water and you just wanna dip it right in, okay? So we're gonna let that just sit there for like a minute or so while we do the next piece. Okay, I wanna do it one more time so you can see exactly. Um, yeah, I prefer to do it this way, like that, horizontally, and then you just lay it down nice and smooth, like that. And then you come along, and you smooth out those edges, okay? Then once again, you don't want to butt up against another piece of tape. You want to overlap it. Okay, so you're going to overlap like that. Take your time. And you just want to smooth out all those edges. Now, because I do have areas here that are not, that don't have tape, I'm going to just go ahead and cut those out because I'm not going to be using that. Okay. Just like that. All right, so let's bring the bowl of water over here. Okay, and set this one in there too. And like I said, just submerge it. The longer you submerge it, the less elbow grease you need to use, I guess, to remove the paper. Okay. This paper is a little bit thicker, this bottom one, so I'm gonna let it sit there just a little bit longer. But because this was a little bit thinner, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out. Okay, so what you wanna do is, you wanna take your finger, dip it in water, and just start doing nice circular motions, just like that. Now you wanna make sure that you don't go too, too hard on it. Okay, firm, steady, because you don't wanna remove, if you do it too hard, you may remove the actual image from the tape, and we don't wanna do that. All we wanna do is remove the paper from the top. Okay, and it's coming off pretty easily. And let's see if it's actually adhering. Let me get a napkin here, clean this off. Okay, turn this around. And it is coming out very lightly. You see all that that you see there in the bottom, that cloudiness, that's still the residual of the the tape so we're going to go ahead and just submerge just a little bit longer 
and see how that turned out. In the meantime, I'm going to take out the other one. See the edges here, you can start with the edges because you can see how it's worked through that the piece of paper there already on the edges and then you can work your way around. paper doesn't matter this is much more vibrant than the other so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue to do this off-camera and I'll be back with the uh, fitted product okay guys so off-camera I went ahead and I finished um, taking out the rest of the paper I'm super excited away the way this came out you may not see what I see right now all you see is kind of a faint looks kind of jacked up but I can see this in a pendant. Once I add a color to the back of that, I think it's gonna look gorgeous, but we shall see. So stick around, because at the end I'm gonna show you what I've created with some of these pieces. This one came out a lot more darker. It's a different type of paper that I used. And off camera, I took the liberty of doing other pieces. Just to give you an idea, I did this. I didn't have a cutter, so I just, but, but look at the colors on there. This is from somebody's dress, okay? Um, I also did this one. It came out kind of light. This was like a, a comforter picture, okay? This was like some bracelets, okay? This was another article. It came out very light, but look at that. I mean, it just came out really pretty, okay? And last but not least, this was like a feather. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on some ideas with resin. And at the end, I'll show you what I came up with. So thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you soon. Just a quick note that if you choose to use a photo, it has to be done on a laser printer, not an inkjet printer. <laughs>